Hello, my name is Libby Dodd. I attend Oak Bay Secondary School. In English 10, we are studying Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare is my favorite unit. I find it so fascinating to learn about such an influential person. He is a famous poet slash playwright from the 16th century. During my time researching this historical figure, I came across many interesting facts. For example, William Shakespeare was a famous poet and also famous for his plays. He wrote more than 30 plays, but only published 18 of them. William's shortest play was The Comedy of Errors, with 1,787 lines and 14,369 words. His longest play was Hamlet, with 4,042 lines and 29,551 words. His plays were shown at his theater called The Globe. Something I find really interesting is that there were four flags, one red, one black, one white, and one that was always outside the globe. It was a flag of this man named Atlas. Atlas was a man who was very muscular, and how I've learned, on the flag he was kneeling on one knee and holding up a globe. As I said, that one flag is always up, so you can always see where the globe theater is. For the rest of the flags, there would be one up at a time. If the red flag was up, then people could look out and see that there was a political play on. If there was a black flag, then it was a tragedy play. And finally, if there was a white flag, then it would be a comedy play. Because there was no electricity, the plays would be played during the afternoon, when the sun was shining bright, so people could actually see the actors. There were no female actors, so the men had to play both female and male roles. The theme of my passage is forbidden love. In the play Romeo and Juliet, two young teens fall in love at a party they first meet at. The play is set in Verona, Italy. Romeo is the son of the Montagues and Juliet, daughter of the Capulets. The Montagues and the Capulets are enemies, with reasons untold. Romeo and Juliet decide to get married with only two others knowing, even though they know about their families being enemies. From there, everything else goes downhill. The passage I chose is Act 2, Scene 2, Lines 126 to 141. This passage is when Romeo and Juliet confess their love to each other and when they decide to get married. This passage is important because even though they know their families hate each other, they decide to listen to their hearts. They don't need their parents to decide who to love and what to do. They're doing this for themselves. In this passage, Romeo and Juliet are speaking to each other. They are speaking about their love and about their marriage. Leading into the passage is when they first meet at the party. Romeo wasn't supposed to be there, but he found his way in. Juliet was supposed to be looking at another man to see if she would consider him as a husband or not. Romeo and Juliet first set eyes on each other through a fish tank. They end up talking on the dance floor. Juliet is soon taken away by her mother to talk to her and Paris. Juliet's nanny sees her talking to Romeo, and the nanny explains that he's a Montague. When Romeo has to leave with his friends, he jumps out of the car the last second and runs to the Capulet's house. He soon finds his way to the pool. Juliet comes out talking to herself, so Romeo hides. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? Romeo says to Juliet. Juliet thinks he's meaning it in a sexual way, so she asks him, what do you mean? Romeo talks about their love and how he wants to marry her no matter who their parents are. This is the part when they decide to marry each other despite their differences in their families because they love each other even though their love is forbidden. After that scene, they decide Juliet is going to send someone out to look at where they can get married and have their wedding. They end up having a wedding with one of Romeo's good friends, who's a priest, and Juliet invites her nanny. There is a literary device, and it is called dramatic irony. It's when the audience knows something the character does not. When the two teens decide to get married, they don't know that that would lead it into their death. 
William Shakespeare had an eye for detail. His plays were amazing and Romeo and Juliet was one of his successful pieces. It's so amazing to think after centuries he is still learned about in school and his plays are still played. The theme forbidden love is not just for the passage I chose, it's for the whole play. There are so many things they could have done to prevent their deaths, but in the end, it's a true tragedy.